It has been five years since these scenes first flashed across television screens, an event not soon forgotten by the nation or by the families directly touched by it. I've seen firsthand the agony and pain that happens as a result of a handgun crime. And I don't want others to have to endure this same thing. We need to take steps to ensure that we are doing everything possible to keep these handguns out of the wrong hands. For Sarah Brady, wife of White House Press Secretary James Brady, the attack on the president was the spark that ignited a personal crusade against handguns. Her husband, injured in the incident, is still recovering from a bullet wound in the head. Brady brought her anti-handgun message to Boston today at the invitation of the group Massachusetts Citizens for Handgun Control. And while those in favor of handgun control sipped their coffee and drank their tea at the Parker House, these people came out today to make their case at the State House. You've got a war, only one problem, it's an uneven, uneven war. The criminals are armed in this war. The citizens are unarmed. We have made life easy for the criminal. The Gun Owners Action League countered Brady's visit with a rally featuring another nationally known personality, Roy Innes, chairman of the New York-based civil rights group, CORE. It kills my liberal buddies. It kills them to can't understand how a civil rights leader could be associated with those bad guys the NRA. <laughs> Gun owners went inside the State House to conduct some intense lobbying after the rally. They want to reverse last week's rejection of House Bill 1695, a pro-gun licensing measure that would have made it harder for police chiefs to discriminate against applicants seeking gun permits. Roy Innes and Sarah Brady are two ironic contrasts in the debate on gun laws, both personally affected by the violence of the bullet, yet cutting different paths to resolve the problem. Uh, I'd like to see less crime, less violence. Um, I think there's no reason for uh, every person to be walking the streets with loaded guns, and I, uh, I want to bring some common sense to this issue. Two of my sons were killed uh, by guns. The fact is, Decent people see crimes being committed, they have to run away from it, they have to have amnesia because they're afraid to be even a witness to a crime because the criminal is armed and the decent citizens are unarmed. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.